Hey guys, Matt from Total MTG here. It's Thursday, which means it's all about the brew. Last week I set everyone the task of Saltai, and I got some very, very, very nice decks in. So before I get to the one that I've chosen to showcase this week, uh, just a quick little uh, message to you guys. If you haven't seen the video for that I put up earlier this week of Design Me a Planeswalker, so make sure you go on our videos list and go and have a look at that, and then hopefully you can enter... Have a look at the video and then send some planeswalkers in. But let's get to this week's chosen deck. This week's chosen deck is from Joshua Edwards with his Soul Tide Brew. Lots of graveyard stuff and lots of fun, fun, powerful creatures. And I really like the deck. Um, just have a little look at what he says. He's been testing it. Um, he's had loads of fun building it. And if anyone has any ideas, you know, what you think would be better for it as well, he's always open to some of them, some of them comments, like we all are. You know, sometimes we just forget about something. But all in all, this deck looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, he said it's been really resilient, which gives good matches against control and other stuff. Um, like, you know, a lot of slightly slower decks, you know, aggro decks can be a problem. But hopefully he's got enough in his arsenal to deal with them. And he can also get fast starts as well when you start looking at the creatures. So we will do that. He runs a 4 of Crypt Breaker. It's the 1-1 one, one zombie. You can discard a card, put a 2-2 two, two zombie token into the battlefield. Tap 3 to untap zombies. You control, draw a card, lose a life. Really good card, Crypt Breaker. Very, you know, lots of abilities, lots of stuff that can help you out. And get some all-important stuff into the graveyard that can be cast from the graveyard as well, which is always handy. Runs a 4 of Scrap Heap Scrounger. 3-2 for 2, for two, very powerful, can't block. Exile another creature card from your graveyard. You can return this to the battlefield. Pilgrim's Eye runs a one-off. 1-1 uh, one, one fly ends battlefield. You may search alive for a basic land. One of all important cards in a lot of these types of decks is a prize amalgam. 3-3, three, three, uh, one, uh, one black blue. When a creature enters the battlefield, if it enters from your graveyard, you cast it from your graveyard. Return this from your graveyard to the battlefield. Tap to the beginning of the next end step. So, you know, if you can get a lot of these in the graveyard early, they can all come back straight down, come in tap, they untap them, and then they're all there ready to attack in. Uh, the next one is a four of, as well, Haunted Dead. 2-2 two, two zombie for three and a black. When it ends the battlefield, you put a 1-1 one, one creature spirit into the battlefield. You can discard two cards, return this from the graveyard to the battlefield. Tapped for two, as well. You have to pay the cost. But a good way of recurrence, you know, that means you're casting stuff in the graveyard, which obviously helps the prize. You know, it's it's pretty, it's pretty, got some good synergy in this deck. This is why I like it. It's really good. Then we've got one of uh, Ishkinar, Graf Widow, brilliant card. Has all the, um, it comes in, hopefully if you've got Delirium, which hopefully you've got a good chance of doing. There's instants, enchantments, sorceries, creatures, and obviously, you know, Anything like that, you've got a chance of getting it to get those little uh, one, two green spiders in. And you can also play six and about target opponent who's one life for each spider you control. Also runs a two of Voldar and Pariah. I've been looking at this card recently. I really like this card. Uh, three, three for five. Sacrifice three other creatures. You get the transform, but you can also play it, play it for its madness cost if it's in the graveyard. Or, you know, you discard this card, start to exile. When you do, cast it from Madness Cost or put it into your graveyard. You can do so. That's for the madness. Um, you can sacrifice three and then it flips into a big 6 5 target opponents to sacrifice three creatures. Then we go to the last big boy, the big four of Elder Deep Fiend. The Eldrazi that comes flash and emerge, sacrifice a creature, which obviously works well with the deck. Uh, when you cast Elder Deep Fiend, you tap up to four target permanents. Really like Elder Deep Fiend. Done well for me at the weekend in my um, game day. Um, I, I did a Dovin Barn and managed to emblem with this this coming in. It's really good. Just tapped down everything. It was really funny. Anyway, guys, that he runs four of Elder Deep Fiend. Bit of a game winner. And obviously, you can control the board. So, let's get to the spells now. Runs a one of Natural State. Destroy type, Artifact, Enchantment. Three or less. Hits those all-important Copters. You know, early play, some of them. Sinister Concoction, a one of enchantment. Pay one life, put the top card you love in your graveyard. Discard a card, sacrifice it, and then destroy target creature. Help find your cards and put stuff in the graveyard. Contingency plan. Uh, you get to look at the top five, put any of them in the graveyard, then rest on the back in any order. Grapple with the past, put stuff in the graveyard, get it all back. 
lets you get a return of creature or land card from your graveyard to your hand. Couple of little grass of darkness, nice bit of early removal. And then you've got a two of Liliana, the last hope. Um, the ability is now, you know, Liliana is one of the, definite one of the best cards from Eldritch Moon in a lot, a lot of decks. Works well with graveyards, good, good card. Um, just have a quick look at the lands. Definitely got, he's got a mixture of lands, Blooming Marshes, Botanicals, Choked. A uh, couple of um, lumbering, um, Hissing Quagmire, sorry, and some Lumbering Falls. All turn into creatures, Lumbering Falls into a nice Hexproof, and the Hissing into the Death Touch. So yeah, I really like this deck. It looks, you know, it's very powerful, some very powerful cards. It has a lot of good synergy. Uh, anything that anyone else would like to say about the deck, always leave in the comments. Always some nice critique if there's anything. Um, you know, everyone likes, you know, I think it's just a really, really good deck. Very strong. So let's have a look at the sideboard. Definitely got some strong, strong cards in the sideboard. Um, we'll just have a brief, quick look at them. Ceremonious Rejection. Good against, obviously, the targets, um, counter targets, colourless spell. There's a lot of that about at the moment with the vehicles. Another Natural State. Negate. You know, get more control in here with Transgress the Minds. Pick the Brains. Uh, got a Ruinous Path there. A bit more kill. A uh, couple of Kalitas in the sideboard, uh, Lifelink, good against aggro decks, and obviously get zombies on when you start killing stuff. Um, what else does it have? A Summary Dismissal, Exile All Spells and Counters All Abilities. Nice card, been putting that in a lot of my blue sideboard cards at the moment, been very good. Also runs an Ob Nicholas, Nicholas, and Nick, Nick, Nick Silis. Oh, I can't pronounce that today, <laughs> struggling with it. And it runs a one of Emrakul, the promised end. The big 13 13. Cost one list of cards for each card type in your graveyard. But hopefully, you know, this, this is a very, very nice deck. Um, I'm glad, you know, hope you like this, Joshua, that we showcase your deck this week. Um, very impressive, it. Well done on it, and I'm not surprised it's doing well. Um, I would try and make it myself. I'm missing a, a few very important cards from the deck, like Liliana's and stuff like that, so I wouldn't be able to put it together myself. And Liliana's is a very, very um, expensive card, but, you know, maybe possibly it could be substituted with something else. We could think of something, guys. For people that haven't got the Liliana's, we could put something else in instead. Uh, but, yeah, very, very good deck, mate. So, thanks to everyone that did enter this week. Put it in your Soul Tie Brews. Um, the colours we are going to go for next week. So you can all start brewing. Ooh, what should we go for? What should we go for? I think we are going to go for... Hmm, we're going to... Hmm, should we make it easy? Should we make it harder? What should we do? Let's, let's, let's make it a little bit easier this week. We're going to go... Now, I want you to be creative. Because, you know, I want to get do a monocoloured one this week. So you've got to be creative because mono is, you know, it's a bit hard, you know, they're easier decks to make because obviously they're one colour. So you don't have to worry about the land so much. But we're going to make a, a mono white deck. So you guys, you know, are probably going to get a lot of soldier decks. Maybe there's a lot of white soldiers. But maybe you could think of something else, you know. There's obviously mono white ghostly prison. That's a very popular deck, but that's, you know, there's a lot of that online. So maybe we can think of something else. Maybe a different type of mono white control. Um, you know, anyway guys, you just get creative, get thinking, that's what this, this is all about, and I hope I get lots and lots of brews this week, it's really good, um, you know, I really appreciate people taking the time out of their busy schedules to send these in, and hopefully very, very soon, after we get a few more weeks in, you know, I'm trying to put some of the winning decks together, um, so I can, you know, put it on a bit of MTGO, I'm slowly building some of the decks, so hopefully you'll see some of them soon. But like I said also, don't forget to go and check out Let uh, Build Me a Planeswalker deck. And uh, I'm not going to explain too much about that video, but you can just go and watch the video and then you'll find out all about it. It's really good and fun. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Anyone new to us, go press that subscribe button. I do try to get a video out every day of the week if I can. It just depends on my work schedule. Um, but I really do try to get out, so lots of content for you. Anyway, thanks for watching this week. And don't forget Mono White. Send it in to totalmtg1gmail.com or leave your link in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next week.